The Ho-Chunk Nation is celebrating a major achievement. Recently, the tribe took home its first Emmy at the 65th Chicago Midwest Regional Emmy Awards. The tribe won for outstanding achievement for arts entertainment short form content. They won the award for its film exploring the artistic process of Truman Lowe. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall has the story. Emily, the short film highlights the life of Truman Lowe, a Ho-Chunk Native artist who had a big impact on Native students, including Casey Brown. Brown and Robert Reeder both contributed to the film. For them, though, the award is more than an achievement. I have an interest in trying to protect as much of the environment as possible. Casey Brown and Rob Reeder can add another achievement to their resumes. In November, the film contributors won an Emmy for their work on exploring the artistic process of Truman Lowe. Lowe was a sculptor and installation artist who taught at UW-Madison. This was the first Emmy Award Ho-Chunk Nation ever received. I never went in uh, <laughs> thinking an Emmy was uh, on the horizon. Not in a million years. Um, you know, my goal with, with this relationship, with the partnership, is just education, getting the word out there. The short film reflects on Lowe's legacy, a UWL student from Black River Falls. Lowe became a UW-Madison professor teaching art and serving as the chair for its department. He influenced many students. He was certainly someone that inspired me as I was growing up. Um, I knew of Truman. Uh, I kind of just knew of him as you know, a guy in town that did weird art, weird being good for me. I, it was very interesting, unique art. Brown and Reeder beat out two other films for the award, but making this movie was no cakewalk. Truman has, has uh, since journeyed on, um, so we're not able to get the story directly from him, but through some of the different videos that, that we had, fortunately had of him, we were able to piece it together. There's so much to be said that we, could do an entire documentary about Truman, like his entire uh, work. And there were things that we had to leave out. For now, Brown and Reader are thankful for the award. And guys, in 2022, UWL dedicated the Center for the Arts to Lowe. Brown and Reader are hoping to work on other films. They range from different acts impacting Native Americans to artisans. Ken and Emily. All right, it's quite an accomplishment. Thank you, Jeremy.